All right, welcome back to 5.3 PO. Um, here we are on step uh, 31 uh, of the book, valve train checks measure push rod length. Okay, so um, without, without reading that entire paragraph to you and boring you, uh, the point of this step is to uh, lay a rocker on, um, well, basically, lay a rocker down here, um, but put a push uh, rod length checker down in here, okay? And I've already done that. I don't know if you could see it, but um, I've put a, let's see if I can get in there. Oh gosh, it's going to be nearly impossible to see, but let me see if I can get a uh, flashlight here. See that guy right there? Um, Gosh, it's hard to tell with this camera whether or not you could see it, but there's a push rod length checker right there, right? And the idea here <clears throat> is to turn it. Um, now, I've already kind of... You, you see how there's a little bit of play in these rockers? Well, that's because I haven't extended the push rod length checker up enough. Now, I'm doing that right now. I'm uh, screwing it. Um, turning it counterclockwise to extend its length until it touches. Okay, now I'm afraid that the whole thing is probably turning. So I'm going to need to find a way. Let me put this back on my head because I'm going to need to use both hands here. All right, let me try to point this down. So I'm going to try to stick one finger in here. This is tight. You don't get a whole lot of space to work here. Um, but I'm going to use one hand to uh, stop the bottom half from turning and the other to try to extend the length of the push rod checker. And the book said this will be tricky. All right, let me try to do it on this one because it's a little bit... And I'm sorry that you really can't see it. What I may end up having to do is, because I can't get this daggone thing to turn without the whole thing turning. And maybe it's just because of the type of push rod length checker that I purchased. See, the whole thing is spinning. Trying to stop that from happening. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get some very, very tiny needle nose pliers. Like long, super long. Oh, these would do the trick here. Let's see. But first, like, I need to make sure they're clean. All right. I hope you can see this. But basically what I'm trying to do here is stop the bottom half from spinning. All right, so I think what we're going to need to do is remove this bolt here. See how this works? You gotta, oh, I see what's going on. This whole thing has to turn. All right, so that's kind of the problem there. So, <laughs> um, unfortunately, I wonder if I did it the other way and lifted it like that. Let's try that. Let's see if that makes it any easier. Oops. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's lifting up. So I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time.
See, now I got some play in there. It's not what we want. So let's go ahead and extend it back out just a bit with very, very minute turns. Because what all we're trying to do is take out the little bit of slack that's in there. Okay. Without pushing down on these checker springs. That's good and snug. That's probably right where I need it to be the length. All right. So let's go ahead and try it with this one too. And see if we can get the same value. See the problem there is the whole thing is spinning even all the way down to the lifter. So anyway, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull these rockers off. <clears throat> and I'm going to assume that this one is maybe perfect or maybe just a bit a shade too long and i'm going to assume that this one is a shade too uh, short and then i'm going to take the difference in the average between the two and that should get me my length i'm just setting these here for now all right so how different are they? By God, they're just about the same. All right, so I'm gonna assume, let's see where we're at here. It's like seven point. Huh, it's like 7.25. Oh wait, we need to add, we need to add some, I forgot, we need to add some. It says here, <clears throat> the proper push rod length for your engine is this measurement plus the recommended hydraulic lifter preload provided by the lifter manufacturer, <clears throat> usually in the neighborhood of 0 0.06 inch for stock GM lifters. Push rods are normally sold in length increments of 0 0.05 inch. So select the length that puts the lifter preload within its acceptable range. So I bought these, not realizing that I needed to measure it. And I bought 7.4, so I don't know if these are gonna work. Um, so I need to do a little research here on these lifters and I'll be right back. So I did some research and found that it's okay if I measured 7.3 inches for the proper push rod length, but used my 7.4 inch push rods that I already had. The extra 0 0.1 inch extra length in the push rods that I plan to use shouldn't cause a problem. Now, just to be sure, and of course, every situation is different. So what I say about my application may not work for yours, but just to be sure, in the next pre-assembly step, when I measured the piston to valve clearance, I went ahead and used the 7.4 inch long push rods that I plan on using. 
In the end, even with those 7.4 inch long push rods, I had plenty of piston to valve clearance. So I feel confident that it will be okay if I use those 7.4 inch long push rods that I purchased. Okay, so um, so anyway, I'm feeling pretty good about that and I'm gonna go ahead and use them. I had plenty of piston to valve clearance, uh, even with them in. So, uh, so anyway, uh, I was happy and I'm moving along. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode and be sure to join me for my next episode, which indeed covers the piston to valve clearance. I'll show you how I went about doing that. And be sure to subscribe to uh, automatically get the notification of all of my newest videos. Be sure to hit the like button too. All right, so thanks so much.